Hello, today I'm going to take you through a game where black sacrifice two rooks, two bishops and one knight. Every single piece was sacrificed. White was Mr. Bernard and black was Mr. Carl. And the game started off with a B pawn. Not the bestest of opening. You should not play it, but he played it. Currently, the best way to play against b4 is to push d5 and when the bishop gets out, put the bishop here. It looks like a very odd square for the bishop to be there, but white can never push this pawn. If white tries to kick away the bishop, all these pawn pushes make the white king super duper weak. The white king cannot cast on the short side because h5 will come. Cannot cast on the long side. He played b4, so it is super duper weak. Never mind, in the game, e6 happened, bishop came out, knight came out, and after a3, he played c5. It's never a good idea to trade this pawn for this, but not so bad. And already on move 4, white made a mistake. He should have taken the pawn, but that did not happen. White pushed the pawn. Too many pawn pushes. 3 pawn pushes in 4 moves. No pieces developed. Looks super duper bad. And black took the opportunity, pushed the pawn to d5, occupied the center. The d and c pawn are controlling the center. Black has all the space. The problem with b5 is, this pawn is going to be super duper weak. And white need to be very precise now. After one mistake, White continued with another mistake, d4. In this position, what would you do? Would you take the pawn, develop the knight, develop the bishop? What are you going to do? All these moves are good, but not the best. The best move here is to get the queen out. Double attack the king and the pawn. Exploit this weak pawn. Only one move to save the pawn. Develop the knight. Protect the pawn. But now that knight is pinned. And you put pressure on that knight with your own knight. The knight and queen are putting pressure on it. White has no move but to defend the knight. You take the pawn and then develop one more piece with free tempi. You got knight and bishop out with no problems. Yes, you're sacrificing this pawn. But you have so much development. And after white takes the pawn, back to you. What would you play? The best move here is to just save the rook. And after white pushes the pawn, relocate your bishop to the e7 square. The plan is to put bishop here, attack the queen and win the knight. If the queen goes here, bishop goes there anyways. And if white tries knight here to defend the knight, you attack the queen, you attack the knight and you win the knight. But in this position, black decided to take on f2 and just sacrifice the rook. He was in the mood to sacrifice. After white took the rook, he played king here, sacrificing one more piece. After the rook, the bishop got sacrificed. Black continued by taking the knight and now white was in a pickle. What to play? If white takes the pawn on c3, black can simply recapture with the knight, giving a check. And once the king moves, he has the brilliant move knight f4, threatening a mate on one on e1. White gets the knight out, trying to save it, then he continues with bishop check. If king goes to d1, it's a mate in one, but a knight in bishop. If king goes to the other side, simply chop off the pawn and a queen check mate. So bishop takes pawn is not working. And if he tries to move the king, again you chop off the bishop and get your queen in. And the king has nowhere to go. King is cornered and then your plan is simple. You want the knight to go here and deliver the mate. But that square is covered by the queen, so you need to kick the queen. You move the knight here, sacrificing the rook, attacking the queen. Once the queen takes the rook, it's a mate. So in this position, white decided to play bishop here. But that did not save him. Black continued to sacrifice. He moved knight here. He already sacrificed the rook the bishop and now one more rook sacrifice. But in reality, that was not the best move. Here, white had an opportunity to get away with murder. Could have taken on b7 and after rook here, the position was not clear. But white got greedy, super duper greedy. He ate up the rook. He ate two rooks and one bishop so far. Black took the pawn and the plan is simple. Give a check and mate the king. If white tries to develop the knight, you simply give the check and the king cannot survive. Block with the bishop, chop it off. Knight c3 is a mate in one. How would white survive? Queen here to cover the square? It does not work, just block the diagonal. If he pushes the pawn one square, queen b3 is a mate. If he pushes the square twice, just give a check, make a queen, take the rook and the king is gonna get hunted, there's no running away. King takes the knight, you give a check. Where should the king go? To the center, knight checkmate. If the king goes to the other side, still a knight check. And if the king goes back, queen check and a knight checkmate. If king tries to run out, queen check and a teeny tiny pawn checkmate. 
the king was never going to survive so in the game i decided to develop the bishop black continued with queen check and after the king moved he was like oh i give two rooks one bishop time for another sacrifice there goes the bishop sacrifice white chopped off the bishop now what two rooks two bishops gone what more is left a knight sacrifice just keep on sacking throw away all the pieces if white takes the knight queen check on d2 pushing the king another check pushing the king and a mate so he could not take the knight and black was threatening mate in one on queen here so he tried to run away with the king but that did not help queen check from the b file and the king is dead nowhere to hide if king goes here it's a mate if king goes to the other side another mate so in this position just after 18 moves white resigned 